different feedback. I got one message. Uh, someone that was there was really, uh, you know, just was really happy at how open and honest that brother Air is. You know, because they were so used to all the people in these little health things uh, with their YouTube channels or their vlogs or whatever. They it's just always this constant positive perfect like every like it's all perfect my life you right. know it's all great I'm perfect you know you can be perfect too just just be like me just follow me you know do what I say you know be perfect you know and just this whole kind of mythology uh, that, that people create and uh, you know and, and I try to go out my way not to not to create that over here because this is about hard work this is about you know, th this is about s like serious regeneration. I'm not talking about like regen like in your mind you think you can be regenerated in a, in a couple years. You know, I'm talking about right. how long does it take to transition back to uh, back to Adam? <laughs> you know, if you want to use use that uh, you know kind of mythological concept. You know, the how, how long does it take to transition back? Like how many generations? Since Eden, have there been, and how much, how many gallons of mucus and pus has your bloodline consumed since Adam and Eve? You know, or since our ancestors. I'm just using Adam and Eve as in, as a way to say ancestors because that's kind of a uh, you know a concept that most people in the West understand. Uh, how many, if you could quantify the amount of pus and mucus? that went into your ancestor's body and then didn't leave. Like they put pus in and it gets in the intestines and and some of it might leave, but a lot of it stays there. And it stays there long enough, it starts to become part of the body. Pus and mucus become part of the body when it never was supposed to be. And so the body transforms and morphs into something alien. If we if we if we were to be in the midst of our ancestors way way back if we were to walk up and say hey they would they would think we were aliens in the way that we look at like an alien movie and we and we look at these people that are you know real small and all bald and their nose is almost gone and the eyes are kind of sunk in you know what I mean when we look at that kind of like oh well that's that's the alien like the stereotype of an alien I mean we would go to our ancestors and they would they would gasp. I mean, they oh, hey, hey, they probably would. They probably smell us coming yeah. from several miles away, <laughs> and be like, "There is a stench among <laughs> us." <laughs> and then they would fly away. You know. Uh -huh. um, so we're trying to put this into perspective. This is not, and again, that's why why I'm saying this. This is the most real piece that you are going to be confronted with. Because I'm not going to try to sell you on some kind of like, uh, you know, 30 days, cleanse yourself, right. you know, or some kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, within, uh, you know, one month you can lose 500 pounds and you can do this or you can cure this. It's like that's not where we're at at all. We talk about our experiences and the experiences are so profound in terms of the potential of the healing and what it opens up in terms of consciousness that it uh, you know it stands to reason that we that that this this is something really profound you know um, so so before I even go further let me let me read a couple it was a couple couple of little questions and where I'm kind of coming from even with with my line of of uh, explanation and discussion here so uh, so Bradley had posted saying um why was brother air talking about himself being full of poison if he has been on the mucus's diet for so many years was he eating toxic foods before starting this fast so uh, I appreciate definitely appreciate the question uh, yeah. then, uh, then Nicholas uh, uh, asked wow and this was during the thing yesterday ah. <laughs> um, Oh uh, wow! After so many years, still strong elimination like that. What kind of problem slash pain did uh, did he have? Is it gone now? Uh, seems like he was having some doubts <clears throat> about the system. As he said, if the first uh, wouldn't have helped, he would have 
uh, would have to go to the hospital or medical science. Uh, hope he feels better. Yeah. So I you know, appreciate uh, your comment there, Nicholas. Um, and so, so and and, so, and this is a point. It's hard to make this point, you know. And this is where mucus's diet is. This is going to be the most mature of all of these things out here. There's there's a, a maturity level that you have to have to deal with this thing because it's going to challenge everything. Uh, you know all all of your, your the, you know all your nutrition theories that you like to grab onto all of your uh, uh, you know some aspirations that might be misplaced if if you if it, it it's you might have a, a really lofty aspiration but it, do you are you being reasonable and rational with understanding how to get there and what it takes to get there, the kind of time, the kind of dedication it takes to get to these higher levels. Now, with with the diet, you're dealing with, uh, you know, we we always always say there's you know there's two different kinds of people that usually get into the diet. On one hand, you have people that are chronically ill that have been to doctors and there's doc uh, medical science and they said look we don't have anything for you you know you're gonna die like was some sorry but we have nothing for you we have no poisons to give you uh, and it, it, it just like it where to the point where it be it's beyond their morality to give people that are so that are in such a condition poison I mean that's letting you know how, how far people have to go down the rung when people are on their last leg and they have nowhere to go, nowhere to turn, that's when they go check out Arnold Eric. What's he have to say about this? What can I do going in that other direction? But look at how extreme people have to get in terms of their condition to want to consider this. So that should tell you something about how deep this pe 